Hello and welcome to part 8 of the Cryptid Iceberg, where I cover some of the strangest and most mysterious creatures science doesn't recognize. As always, if you haven't seen the previous parts, I'll leave them down in the description. If you want updates and more information, follow me on Twitter and Patreon, also in the description. This video will be finishing tier 5 of the iceberg. Now, let's begin. Similar to the Australian Big Cat, the Warrigal is a large feline cryptid native to Australia, specifically the Blue Mountains. Unlike a cougar or leopard, the Warrigal is said to have a large mane and two huge fangs. If real, it's difficult to tell how many sightings of Big Cats in Australia were Warrigals, as they could easily be mistaken for each other from a distance. Native to Australia and especially New South Wales, the giant wombat is a larger version of the wombat, said to reach a maximum size of a bear. Believers in its existence often believe that the giant wombat is the surviving Diprotodon, which were a larger relative of wombats that went extinct around 50,000 years ago, when humans began populating Australia. Sightings of the giant wombat date back all the way to 1872, when a bear-sized wombat was seen in New South Wales, though there are conflicting reports on what it was, as some described the creature as more ape-like in appearance. Although the cryptid isn't sighted often, in 2004 an entire family of the giant wombats, with two adults and two smaller children, were sighted in a New South Wales park. In 1947, in an effort to prove a controversial theory that South American people traveled to Polynesia before the arrival of Columbus, a Norwegian explorer named Thor Heyerdahl created a large wooden raft and sailed from Peru to a small island off the coast of Aurora, an atoll that's part of modern-day French Polynesia. They were eventually picked up by local villagers, and Thor went on to have several more expeditions. However, it's what they saw on their trip that makes the story relevant. During their journey, Thor and his crew spotted strange, unidentified creatures, he writes about seeing round heads, two or three feet in diameter, lying motionless and staring at us with great glowing eyes. On other nights, balls of light, three feet and more in diameter, would be visible down in the water, flashing at irregular intervals like electric lights turned on for a moment. On another day, he notes, about two o'clock on a cloudy night, when the man at the helm had difficulty in distinguishing black water from black sky, he caught sight of a faint illumination down in the water, which slowly took the shape of a large animal. It was impossible to say whether it was plankton shining on its body, or whether the animal itself had a phosphorescent surface, but the glimmer down on the black water gave the ghostly creature obscure, wavering outlines. Sometimes it was roundish, sometimes oval or triangular, and suddenly, it split into two parts, which swam to and fro under the raft, independently of each other. Finally, there were three of these large, shining phantoms, wandering round in slow circles under us. They were real monsters, for the visible parts alone were some five fathoms long, and we all quickly collected on deck and followed the ghost dance. It went on for hour after hour, following the course of the raft. Mysterious and noiseless, our shining companions kept a good way beneath the surface, mostly on the starboard side where the light was, but often they were right under the raft or appeared on the port side. The glimmer of light on their backs revealed that the beasts were bigger than elephants, but they were not whales, for they never came up to breathe. Were they giant rayfish, which changed shape when they turned over on their sides? They took no notice at all if we held the light right down on the surface to lure them up, so that we might see what kind of creatures they were. And, like all proper goblins and ghosts, they had sunk into the depths when the dawn began to break. Finally, the crew noted that they glided past a large dark mass, the size of the floor of a room, that lay motionless under the surface of the water like a hidden reef. It was presumably the giant ray of evil respute, but it never moved and we never went close enough to make out its shape clearly. So what were these creatures? Some explanations, like the glowing firefly squid of Japan have been put forth, 
but these ocean cryptids remain cloaked in mystery thus far. Hailing from the Mediterranean Sea, Mangatore's monstrous fish is a strange whale-like creature with two dorsal fins, a blowhole, and extremely powerful teeth. One was stranded in Sicily, where it was measured at around 45 feet or 13 and a half meters in length. There it got its name after Sicilian historian Antonio Mangatore, who reported the sighting, though a whale or fish matching the description of this creature hasn't been seen since. Sighted around Cape Sable Island in Nova Scotia, Canada, the Cape Sable Serpent is a long serpentine cryptid noted for having tusks, barnacles growing on its body, a seahorse-like face, and eyes on the end of stalks. Although sightings reportedly go back to 1934, the creature got the most attention in 1976 when multiple fishermen reported being stalked by the creature. In all three encounters, the serpent began tailing the fishermen's boat, and they had to drive their boat into the shallow parts of the water in order to escape. One of these fishermen was able to partially see it, and estimated its total length at 50 to 60 feet, or 15 to 18 meters. Located in the Garo Hills region of northeast India, the Mande Barung is an ape-like cryptid, similar to the nearby Yeti. According to investigators, the Barung has dark brown or black hair, grows as tall as 9 feet or 2.7 meters, and eats primarily vegetables, though sometimes eats crabs as well. While it's also known to build nests, the most interesting encounter with the creature came in 1999 when a man claimed he was captured by the cryptid and force-fed milk, which he described as bitter, though the Barung was harmless otherwise. Another hairy humanoid, the Maricoxi, is a cryptid native to the Amazons of South America. According to explorer Percy Fawcett, in 1953 he encountered the extremely hairy tribe on a trek to the Amazon. There he recorded that they communicated in a strange grunting language and used bows, which native tribes in the area warned him about. While this description suggests that his Maricoxi sighting was simply an obscure tribe of humans, other more recent sightings describe hairy beings of extreme sizes, with some reports describing the Maricoxi as being 3 feet or a meter tall, and some reports describing them as tall as 12 feet or 3.5 meters tall. The Scrag whale is, or likely was, a type of whale native to the North Atlantic Ocean. According to one 17th century report, a Scrag whale was seen entering a Massachusetts harbor, where the settlers killed it. Due to them not being seen since around the time gray whales went extinct off the coast of North America, today many believe that the Scrag whale was simply a gray whale. The USS Stein is a Mexican-American destroyer first launched in 1970. It's known for a 1978 incident where it was attacked by an animal dubbed the USS Stein creature, which was allegedly a giant squid-like creature, similar to older reports of krakens attacking ships. According to the report, a chunk of the outer layer of the ship was destroyed by sharp claws, resembling the ones found on the suction cups of squids. The report also states that these claws could have been from a squid up to 150 feet or 45 meters in length, far larger than any squid we currently know of. However, these are just estimates I found from one report and should be taken with a grain of salt. The Wampus Cat, also known as the Wampus Beast, is a green-eyed panther-sized cat native to the Appalachian region of the United States. It's connected to a Cherokee story of a woman who put a pelt on in order to spy on a ceremony. When she was discovered, the elders of the tribe cursed her, fusing her with the pelt to become the Wampus Beast. While today the beast is mainly known as a folklore creature, in the 1920s the creature was blamed for a series of livestock deaths in both Georgia and North Carolina. Even fairly recently, a sighting was reported in the show Mountain Men, where one of the cast members claimed he encountered the beast as a child. While I previously covered the Ozark Huller in my video on cryptid hoaxes, where a 2014 sighting was exposed as a hoax, there's another, older Ozark Huller that may just be real. 
Sightings of the horned bear-cat hybrid creature may go back to the time of Daniel Boone, who according to legend shot one of the creatures in Missouri. In 1946, after returning GIs started to build new homes for their families in Oklahoma, the hollow was reportedly causing trouble and making strange noises in the area, though thankfully from what I could find, nobody was hurt. Over the years, more sightings have been reported in more states, but the creature remains cloaked in mystery. Charlie the Payette Lake Monster is an Idaho water cryptid with a similar description to the Loch Ness Monster. Though first reported in 1920, it got the name Charlie in 1954 from a radio show, where comedian Jack Pearl would say, Vas you dare, Charlie? It's been connected to a local Native American legend of an evil spirit that lived in Payette Lake, but I couldn't find a description of the spirit that suggests it resembles a plesiosaur. It hasn't been reported since 2002. It was difficult finding information for this one as the winged dragon is quite similar to the Thunderbird, with some describing it as bird-like, but most describing a more pterodactyl-like appearance for the creature. Much like the Thunderbird, these cryptids have been sighted all over the United States, especially in the southern states. The Milton Lizard is named for the town of Milton, Kentucky, where it was first sighted in 1975. According to eyewitnesses, the lizard was 15 feet or 4.5 meters in length, which is quite a bit larger than today's longest lizards. The black and white striped creature had small speckles over its body and large, frog-sized eyes. Despite search parties being formed, the lizard was never found. The Dewey Lakes Monster, also known as the Sister Lake Sasquatch, was a 10 foot or 3 meter tall Bigfoot creature said it in 1964 in the state of Michigan. According to eyewitnesses, it had glowing eyes as well, something most Bigfoot sightings don't have. Despite many hunters going out in search of the monster, it was never caught or sighted again. Another Bigfoot variation, Big Red Eye is a strange version of Sasquatch, native to New Jersey. Red Eye would make horrible, low growling and screaming noises, sometimes for hours. According to one sighting, it gets the name of Red Eye from the red color of the creature's eyes, which one has described as looking like its eyes reflecting light, but not glowing. Teratornis was a type of large, vulture-like bird with a wingspan up to 12 feet or 3.5 meters. It was native to North America and went extinct around 10,000 years ago. As you can probably guess, some believe the creature is still out there. Some people have noticed that certain Thunderbird sightings resemble the Terratorn more than a giant eagle or pterosaur, leading to theories that the Terratorn survived its supposed extinction. Located in the Canadian Turtle Lake, the Turtle Lake monster is a cryptid said to grow from 3 to 9 meters or 10 to 30 feet in length, with a head resembling either a pig, dog, or seahorse and either a smooth body or scales. According to a local Cree legend, there was some type of monster living in the lake that caused the disappearance of those who entered the monster's domain. While the Turtle Lake monster remains undiscovered to this day, in terms of appearance it's definitely one of the more unique lake cryptids I've seen so far. Messy is the name of a cryptid living in Lake Murray, South Carolina. A plesiosaur-like creature, Messi is known for being pretty aggressive, attacking people who go on the lake. In 2012, it was reported that two kids were fishing in a boat when Messi grabbed their fishing line and dragged their boat around for about a mile before one of the kids dropped his fishing rod, allowing them to escape. There's not a ton of information on this one, but the Tennessee Terror is said to be a 25-foot or 7.5-meter-long snake-like creature living in the Tennessee River. According to one report, it almost shook a man out of his boat. The Genosqua, or Stone Giant Man, is said to be the bigger, scarier, and more aggressive cousin of Bigfoot. Their name comes from their skin, which is said to be as durable as stone, able to deflect arrows. Although they haven't been seen for centuries, according to native legend, the Stone Men invaded their lands and were much more powerful than humans, defeating them and eating their remains. 
While a creature like this hasn't been sighted in centuries, some speculate the legend is connected to Bigfoot, or some cousin of Bigfoot. The Lake Koshkonong monster is a water cryptid from Wisconsin, potentially related to a native legend of a demon that lived in the lake. The monster is a 40 foot or 12 meter long serpent, and although there's not a ton of information on it, we know of at least one report that the monster ate some pigs a farmer had left near the shore. Jenny, or the Geneva Lake Sea Monster, is a cryptid found in Geneva Lake, Wisconsin. There's not a lot known about Jenny, though one sighting described the beast as a snake covered in scales and 100 feet or 30 meters long. The Wallowa Lake Monster, or Wally, is a humped lake cryptid with a maximum length of 20 feet or 6 meters. According to a legend from the Nimipu or Nez Perce tribe, a monster in the lake once rose up and destroyed a boat, leaving no trace of the occupants left. While there haven't been a lot of sightings of Wally, in 1950, two of the monsters were sighted, suggesting that there could be a population of the creature living in the lake. The Flintville Monster of Tennessee is a regional variant of Bigfoot, an aggressive, hairy ape known for causing terror in the area, and also for its awful smell, like a cross between the skunk ape and grass man. According to an article titled, Tennessee Bigfoot, a disagreeable fellow, although the creature never hurt anyone, the Flintville monster would chase people around the woods and attack cars. In one incident, a mother barely snatched her child away from the outstretched arms of the monster. If the Flintville monster is real, it's unclear if the creature is Bigfoot or a different species entirely. That's going to be the end of this video, and layer 5 of the iceberg. If you enjoyed watching it, please share it with someone you think may enjoy it, and like and subscribe for more. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. If you want to see more cool stuff or contact me, follow my Twitter and Patreon, which will also be linked below. I'm also doing a Q&A to celebrate reaching a thousand subscribers, so if you have any questions for me and the channel, you can send them to me for the video. Thank you all so much for watching and leaving nice comments for me. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next video.